Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm here today to show you some of the new uh, November 1st release for Scrap Diva Designs. Um, this is a holiday edition. So um, if you missed all the dies, you can go back one video uh, and take a look at the, um, I think it's one video, um, of all the dies in the new release. So super cute. Lots of elf theme. It's so cute. So um, anyways, let's just jump right in. I'm going to show you guys some of the uh, stuff that I've made. I'm, I have a quick little tutorial that I'm going to do with you guys. Um, so let's just get started. So there was a super cute little elf bow. <laughs> Is that not the cutest? Um, this little hat I made. Um, it was a uh, Cricut uh, find. Uh, I found it in the design uh, studio. I think that's what it's called, Cricut Design Studio. I always forget. I feel like it was called something else a long time ago. But anyways, uh, this was a cut um, in the Cricut. So I just made this cute little elf hat. And then I just added this cute little elf bow. Now this one is the medium size. Uh, it does come in a small, medium, and large. Um, but this is the medium. Is that not the cutest? Right? So cute. And then I just added a foam piece on there, or two actually, uh, just to give it a little decoration. And then I did some pom-poms. Um, and then the rest of them, um, I, I did another one that has a little bit of a decoration on them. I kept them all the same because I'm going to use this as Christmas tags. I'm going to put a two from on the back. Uh, I always like to make at least a set or two of these uh, each year. So I'm going to punch a hole and then just uh, hang a little string in there and put a two from on the back there. So cute. But the rest of them are plain. I didn't put a foam on all of them. Um, but how fun. That bow is so super cute. I love that. So that's the first project that I did. Then I played around with some of the word dies. Now, these words that you're going to see right now, there, there is a set of three, actually. Um, when I showed you guys, um, when I did the reveal video. Now, what I did was, this is a mixture of one, two, and three. Because um, I made my, my little Christmas trees um, three inches long. So, I mostly stuck to some of the smaller uh, words. So, I picked out all the, the smaller words that I thought would fit from uh, each of the three. But, again, it is a mixture of all three. Not to confuse anybody. Um, and then I just, um, again, I used my Cricut. I made some of these cute little Christmas uh, tree tags. And then I just put the words down the center. I did put them up on foam tape. So they have a little bit of dimension. Um, I did put ribbon in here, but you could also um, put a little ball chain through if you want to hang it off the side of a present. Um, I haven't decided. I'll probably use uh, some for uh, both reasons, for uh, Christmas tags or if I want to hang something off of, uh, you know, the side of a, a project that I'm making, I'd probably use a little ball chain instead. But those are cute. And I use gold candy then we have claws and the good thing is you can mix and match these words and make like little sentiments out of it this one says candles this one is tinsel then we have cocoa there is a hot um, I just didn't do it because uh, it wouldn't fit but you could do hot cocoa then angel there's really, really good words in here and lots to, you know, mix and match when you're making your projects. So cute. So um, those are the tags that I made. And then the next thing that I did was I played around with this. It's A2 front shadow frame. So it looks like this. It cuts out in one piece and it does remove the center piece um, because it's a shadow box. So... Let me first show you the project that I made, and then I'll show you how to quickly put it together. It's so super easy. Um, so isn't that the cutest, right? How fun is that? It's, it feels interactive. <laughs> uh, and then I did, I put two pieces of acetate in here, 
with some really thin foam tape so that I can trap the sequins in between the two pieces of acetate. So that is not in the box because I thought um, they would probably all collect down here and just be way down in the bottom. So um, that's why I did that. Again, I just sandwiched two pieces of the acetate um, with some foam tape, um, just go end to end and then you can um, put the sequins in between so they're free flowing above the project not inside uh, with the background which is this cute little christmas tree that i added and then i added this cute little gingerbread so cute so you can see and i did put mine up on foam tape and there's a couple ways to do this you can create the box and put it right down on your paper I created mine, this could be a standalone box if you wanted it to be. So I made mine like a standalone box and then I just adhered it to my paper layers. So, but you could do it either way. But isn't that cute? Love that. And then here's the inside of the card. So I just thought that this is really fun and uh, super cute. And like I said, it feels a little interactive, like there's something to look at. And <laughs> So anyways, that is the super cute card that I made. Now I'm going to show you guys how to put this together really quickly. So when you cut it out, as I mentioned before, it's going to look like this. Now, if you look, I'm trying to get it to focus. There's a serrate, oh, here, let me do it on this side. There is a serrated line, but you, you want to make sure that you're folding on this line. If you can see it, it's, I'm trying to angle it. There we go. It's like right there. So that's where you want to fold. Don't fold on the serrated line. And then again, that's where you're going to put your, now you don't have to put acetate. That's just what I did. Um, because I wanted it to uh, be covered up, but you could leave it open. Um, I just prefer the look of it um, to be um, with acetate. So I'm gonna quickly fold this up. So give me just two seconds. I'm gonna try to go as fast as I, as my hands will take me. So I'm just folding again, just around the the lines that are just below the acetate, uh, not the acetate, the serrated line. That's the word I was looking for. Give it a nice press. You can use your bone folder. I am not, and I think I hit the serrated line. Let me see if I can correct that. Yeah, hold on. I'm trying to correct it. Okay, and this is just an example, but um, I'm just going really fast so I can show you guys just how to do it. This is one of the easier dies in there, but I thought, hey, you never know. Somebody might have a question, so why not do it? Okay, and then the last one. Oh, let me make sure I'm getting it. Hold on. I got to push it down so I can make sure. I mean, that little, the space between the serrated and the line is very little. So uh, just kind of be thinking about that when you're folding it. See this tiny little space in between there. And then you're going to fold everything else on the serrated lines as well. Let me tilt down a little bit. If I'm out of camera, I, didn't, I mean, out of the view of the camera. So just fold everything that you see that's on the, the bottom part. That's, this part's really easy to do. And then see how it's kind of, you, you can already see that it's looking like a, a box. So then we're gonna fold this line as well. Fold the little sides in, because those are your little connecting pieces. Okay, so now if you can kind of see it, you see how it's like making a little box right here. So the next thing that I would do um, is to go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and glue down the acetate. Now the acetate, I cut this at four and three quarters by three and a half. And so it's just slightly smaller than the size of the box. So let's go ahead and glue that in. 
So again, that was four and three quarters by three and a half. And that's just what I came up with when, you know, when I decided to make it. Um, you could maybe make it a little smaller, but I wouldn't go too smaller because you wanted to make sure that it's covering up the little hole. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go all the way around with my wet glue. I don't want to use too much because this is just an example. All right, and then I'm going to lay my acetate in there. And just kind of press, 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 press. And go all the way around. Now, these little flaps right here, is what you're going to be connecting to the inside. That's what's going to create the little box. So let's get some hot glue. And again, it's not going to be perfect. It's just a quick little tutorial. Just to give you the basics. And then we're going to just do this. I, I would go underneath if you can and try to pr press it down from the inside as well. And see that little flap creates the little the little box or helps to create the box. Now we're gonna do the same thing all the way around. Just give it a press for a few seconds. You know, hot glue is so fast. Give that a little press. Okay, and then here we go. Last one. I'm gonna press that. And voila. There's like little. So now you have your little box that you can create a little scene with. I made mine pretty simple. I just put a cute little Christmas tree with a little star back there. Um, and, but you can, you know, and I also made it simple because I have such a big um, gingerbread on the outside. But obviously if I didn't have that, I, I would probably more center it. And also um, I could probably get more than one thing in there. And then all I did was I just, picked out my layers of paper, and then um, I just created a little card with it. Now, you can glue it down by gluing this part and just gluing it down to your paper, or you can create a full box, which this measures four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. You could just do it like this and completely close it um, if you want to, and then glue it down, which that's what I did, but it's not necessary. You can definitely do it the other way and just glue from here and just glue it straight down onto your project like this. So you could do it that way and then put your layers underneath. So it's, it's completely up to you. I just wanted to show you that there is a couple different options because you could technically, um, and the reason why this one isn't exactly the same size as this, because when I tried to do that, for some reason, it wasn't lining up all the way. So I made it like uh, one eighth uh, inch smaller, but you could make it exactly this size um, as the box, which it almost is. And then, I mean, you could just have it as a standalone thing and you don't even have to create a card. You can just create a little box with a scene in it. So that's um, the idea kind of behind that, but you can, you know, kind of figure that out which way you prefer. So I hope that was helpful and thank you guys so much for um, stopping by um, to take a look at my projects. There will be many more. And as you know, there was such a fantastic uh, new release out um, this round. So I will have, I'll be back with more projects and maybe some more tutorials. And if you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer. And don't forget to use my coupon code. The dies will be ready on, are available on uh, November 1st. You can use my coupon code, which is NAT10. Save yourself 10% off of your order. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys all very soon. Bye!